Jim Spears is a busy man with a lot of irons in the fire, but he's really fired up over his latest hobby. He digs coal art and nails nail figurines. I thought it was kind of a novel, <clears throat> novel idea. I never had seen any of it done. You see, Jim's kind of like Colonel Sanders. He's got a secret ingredient. He's not going to tell you what it is, though. But he takes that secret bonding agent, he mixes it with the coal, and that's how he gets the lump sum. I take a chunk of coal and make a mold, a latex mold. And then I pulverize the coal into a powder and mix it, and then pour it in the mold and let it cure. So it's kind of time consuming, and <clears throat> all it does is really bonds the coal together. And when it sets up, Jim can sculpt a black gold mine of art. Now, sometimes he accompanies the coal with the nail figurines. When I start to, uh, to make one, I put the torch in the vise and light it up, and the pliers and the gloves, and, and uh, I'd say from start to finish on one, I could probably make one in, a, in an hour or two if I really, you know, if I really tried. But you have to be careful, you get burned pretty easy. But Jim really burns it up with a never-ending number of nail figures. On the nail sculptor things, I guess I've made about every kind of sports character and worker that you can think of. I don't have any problem getting the emotion in the uh, figures, but I think the golfer is probably my, uh, my favorite. I made a putter one time, and uh, uh, it actually looked like Arnold Palmer. But no matter who they look like, Jim says creative coal is good for the soul. He's happy he nailed a new twist on Appalachian art. Seemed like I kind of have a knack for it. That's all I know. Seemed like there's something in me that uh, I've got to create something and try to do something different, you know, and uh, uh, my mind won't let me rest. <laughs> I have to keep busy. And when it comes to keeping creatively busy, well, Jim will always carry a torch for that. In Cable Country, Tim Cable, Eyewitness News 11, Gate City, Virginia.